frequent outside UD Arena. There are other gatherings of Wright State students, alumni, and fans, including at the Wright State Student Union. And that is where Bennett Wise was at that viewing party. So, Bennett, what was it like there? Well, Adam, there was about 100 people all uh, just ecstatic about the school's first victory in the NCAA men's basketball tournament. And this was just one of several venues in the area hosting watch parties for the win over Bryant, taking in that sweet, sweet taste of victory. Were you guys nervous coming in this game that you guys wouldn't advance? I mean, Bryant was a tough team. They got a guy who drops 25 a game. Who we blame? Bryant. Who? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Students, alumni, and faculty gathering in Wright State Student Union for tonight's 93-82 win over the Bryant Bulldogs. It's great to see, you know, the spirit back in Wright State. The past two years have been, you know, not great because of COVID. And to have everybody come back, support the team the way they have, the way they're doing tonight. The way they are at UD Arena is fantastic. More than 100 students filing in for the viewing party with food, giveaways, and a front row seat for the big win. This gives us more bragging rights um, and, and just something to brag about. And, and honestly, it's great for the school as well because students see it. They see us on TV. Uh, they see the school in the region. And they go, oh, that's awesome. That's got to be an you know, electric area to be at. And uh, they're going to want to come to Wright State for it. What do you think this means for Wright State to simply just be in the tournament? Uh, that we're not just some small school. You know, we can make it to the, the finals and something to be proud of. And you're better than UD. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, way better. And confidence is sky high heading to San Diego for the Raiders' first round matchup against number one seed and West Coast powerhouse, the Arizona Wildcats. So it's only been one other time where a 16 has been to one, UMBC beat I, UVA. That's right. You think Wright State can do it? There, I mean... The fact that it already happened once, it's destined to happen twice. So, yes. And Wright State Student Body President Jonathan Ciro says that he wants every and all Wright State alumni and fans in San Diego in the Southern California area to go to that game on Friday because, hey, March Madness needs a Cinderella. There always is one. And giving that Wright State team that extra booth with fans in the stands will only make it better. Reporting in Fairborn, Ben and Weiss, Dayton 24-7 Now News.